Well, hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem here, just giving you a little bit of an update on the situation regarding voice actors for my new animated show. And I'm happy to say that I now have all the voice actors I need for my new animated show. So, I'm just going to dive right into it and say who's doing who. So, with our two main star kits here. So, Gabriel Brown, I think I'm saying your name right, and... Ashley Cook, you've got those parts. Now, so far I haven't had an audition for Red, but I've decided that, just like TD, I'm going to voice him myself, so that's not really going to be much of a problem. And, of course, I'm going to be voicing me and Jane and Ricky. Now, for the guy, I have had two auditions. Now, Starlight2991 really liked your voice, but it was just not what I was looking for, you know? I've still got an idea to of, a part to of a part I could cast you in, so you're not out. I've got a future character which I think would actually work would, which would actually work good with your voice, so yeah, don't worry about that. So, John A. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Loved your auditions for the guy and the hobo, even though I was going to do the hobo myself, but You've got both of those parts, and lastly, the girl with the tape player and random kid. Now, I have had a couple of auditions for those characters. I really like this one here from Bubblegum, Bubblegum Bliss. I think it sounds really good, but unfortunately, I'm having a lot of trouble getting into contact, so I've just had to settle for a text-to-speech voice because I just cannot find a way to get into contact with people who have auditioned on this website to say, yeah, I like your audition and I'd like you to play the character. But like I said, if I hadn't have said that, you wouldn't even know. I mean, I went through a lot of trouble to make it sound as realistic as possible. You'll hear that later because I've actually put together the audio track for episode 2, which I'm going to tag on at the end of this video, so you'll be able to hear it for yourself. And Random Kid, yes, I did have a couple of auditions, but again, trying to get into contact with the people who auditioned is pretty much impossible. However, Delta Cloud, your three lines that you auditioned are, are what I needed anyway, so yeah, we're good with that. So let's have a listen to that audio track that I've put together. Ah, uh, why does it do this? So I'm trying to select episode two there. Oh, now it goes. I don't know why my computer does that. I double click on a thing and it moves. It's so annoying when it does that. But anyway, here is the audio track for episode 2. Now, there are a couple of sound effects missing, but I'm going to put those in later. And when I've done this video, I'm going to start work on the animation. You know, I thought I'd give you this in the meantime so you know I'm actually doing something and not just sitting there doing nothing, but. Anyway, here it is. Let me just turn off my microphone so we don't hear that. Mo, oh, man, what are you doing? You can't do that. You gotta pick up the robots and take them where they need to go. You could have told me that. It did say right there. Oh, man, someone's at my door. Quick, hide. Hi. I know we don't get along and stuff. Uh, yeah? But, I was wondering, could you fix my tape player? It just ate my tape and now it's all jammed in there. I'd be really, really grateful. Really? You want my help? I thought you all hated me. Well, I... I kinda don't hate you. In fact, I kinda like you. And I know you're pretty smart and stuff. Then I thought, if anyone can fix it, you can. Okay then, I guess I could have a crack at it. Give it here. Thanks. Bye. That was close. Yeah, I know. People don't usually call on me for things. Oh. You will keep this a secret, right? It's just... I don't want anyone finding out. You okay? Look. Uh-oh. Busted. Oh, wow. I hope she doesn't spill the beans, man. See? I told you everyone is afraid of me. 
Are you in there? Open up! You're in serious danger! Um, no, I'm okay. Everything's cool here. We know the TD is in your room. It must be dealt with! Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Okay, um, okay, I got an idea. You hide under the bed this time, and if anyone comes in, I'll try to hold them off, okay? No one's gonna get in, but if they do, don't make a sound. Got it? Look, we know it's in there with you. We heard you both talking. Just open the door. All we want to do is save you. No, it's just me here by myself. Uh, like, just talking to myself. Like, what gives, man? You can't just bust in here like this. I already told you, we know TD is in your room. As soon as we found it, we'll leave you alone and you can go back to doing whatever it was you were doing. But TD's not here, man, and even if he was, I don't think he'd be trying to kill me or anything. I don't think he's bad, I think he's just, like, misunderstood. <laughs> hey, there's something under the bed. Uh, no, there's nothing to see here. Aha! Gotcha! Hey, not cool, man. Let him go. He's done nothing wrong. Not yet, but it would have sooner or later. Thank goodness we found it. Plus, there's a reward with my name on it right now. I said let him go. Ow! You, you little... No way are you going to take him from me. But you don't understand. The TD is evil and will eventually kill you. For your own safety, you must give it up. But he's my friend and you're not going to hurt him. Really? You sure? Okay then, I guess it really is the only way out. If you won't let me have a friend, the only thing that makes me happy, then I don't want to carry on anymore. I'll jump. I mean it. I'll jump. Okay, just calm down. Think a minute. Is this really what you want? You've got so much more of your life ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, and when you hand it over, we'll all go, and you can go back to doing whatever. No! <gasps> I told you I'd jump. They're still trying to catch us, look. Good luck, losers, because we're like up here and you're down there. Hey, come on, man, what's up? We're going down. Do this anymore? You're too heavy. Oh, thanks. Where are we going? I don't know. That train. I think we can make it. Look, the door on that truck is way open. So long. Suckers. Luggy escaped there, fellas. Oh, uh, sorry. We didn't know this place was, like, occupied. Don't mind me. Well, it's nice to have some company. So, you guys on the run? Something like that. Kind of running away from the man. Everyone there wants to kill my friend. That cute little guy? Huh. Well, why? Because they're insane. Told you this train stops here. Come on, open up. We know you're in there. Oh, can't an old man rest in peace? Hey, like, what's the noise all about? Looks like the end of the line, boys. We'll stay here all day if we have to. Oh no, tell me that's not who I think it is. Can't they leave us alone for, like, one second? Looks like they followed us. Those are the ones who were chasing you, right? Oh man, I mean, totally. I mean, it is them. I mean, oh man. You okay? You look... Freaked out? Yeah, that.
Too right, I'm freaked out. You won't believe who's outside. They've been following us all night. Like, this is the end, man. Well, maybe not. There's no one on this side. You could sneak out this way. I'll try to stall them. But what about... Don't worry about me. Just go. Come on, we don't have all day. Well, actually, we do have all day, but... Are you going to open that door, or do we have to break it down? All right, I'm coming. Can't an old man rest in peace? Finally. Now, I believe you have two others here with you? No, I don't think so. There's no one here except me. They must have escaped somehow. I know they were here. I'm sure his little floating friend could have escaped. Well, I didn't see no one, and this train don't stop till it gets here. Hey, there they are. Over there. They found you! Run!